ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. This is the Weather Extreme video. This is for Thursday, the 10th day of September. James Spann here. It's uh, moist and muggy and foggy in spots around the state this morning, and really weather not changing a lot today. That means we'll see more action on the radar this afternoon. Look at some of the sky cam shots, and yeah, it's foggy. That's our Decatur sky cam up in Morgan County. And the fog rolling in off that old Tennessee River. Can't see much of anything. There's a dense fog advisory up there for the Tennessee Valley. Not as bad in Birmingham. That's the view from the Daniel Building looking south. And the Tuscaloosa sky cam looking back off to the east. Uh, down below First Baptist Church, off in the distance, Bryant-Denny Stadium. That's the view from the top of the Tuscaloosa County Courthouse. Well, the upper air winds just aren't helping us there. No major features around here. Winds aloft are light and variable, which means storms that pop today will be slow movers. Like recent days, the faster upper air winds are still up in Canada. And accordingly, any severe weather on an organized basis today will be up near the Canadian border over the Dakotas. Rain for the next five days, valid through Monday evening. This is suggesting rain totals of about one inch here. 5.5 inches down there in the Louisiana coast as modeling continues to suggest a, uh, a wave coming out of the western Gulf over the weekend, as you'll see. And by golly, we might see more rain than that if indeed we do have a, a tropical-type wave coming out of the Gulf up this way early next week. In terms of organized tropical action, only one system on the board, and that is our friend Fred. This thing could stay out there for a long time. It's out in the middle of nowhere in the eastern Atlantic. There's a satellite shot in perspective there. You can see the uh, Lesser Antilles on the left. And uh, Fred peaked yesterday as a Category 3, beginning to weaken a bit now. And again, the question is, will it ever get past 35 west? It's going to have a hard time out there. Now, uh, here's a look at the official track, and it just kind of meanders around 35 west, really, uh, for the next five days, weakens into a tropical storm, then a tropical depression, then a remnant low by Monday night. But then it begins to kick back off to the west so we'll see but again it's uh, far 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 from land this is the OZGFS at one o'clock today again a very light upper air pattern so uh, storms that fire will not move much there's the surface chart lots of moisture and the daytime heating process a few small scale boundaries adding some low level convergence and you know what that means scattered showers and storms again this afternoon much like recent days tomorrow same thing uh, the chance of any one high school stadium getting wet will be about one in four. The better chance of a shower or storm during the first half of the game. So take along uh, some rain gear just in case. Now, you know, the GFS has been very persistent in the idea of a drier day Saturday. Are we taking out the chance of rain? Absolutely not. Uh, we're going to mention scattered showers and storms, but uh, uh, the idea is that there might not be that many around, which, of course, is a good thing. This is a big college football day in state with uh, games at Troy, Auburn, and Tuscaloosa. And again, notice the disturbed weather to the southwest of here. And we'll go to Sunday, and a broad uh, 1,012 millibar low shows up down there. No organized tropical system, but uh, just a surface low coming at us from the western Gulf, and that should pack a lot of moisture. So Sunday, there should be an increase in showers and storms. And then Monday, that thing is kind of right over us, and that could be a pretty wet day if this is right. So again, as we have been doing for days, we'll ramp up the coverage and chance of showers and storms on Sunday and Monday. Tuesday, the surface low moves northeast. We begin to dry out, and by Wednesday of next week, there is a, an upper trough developing over the east, and that kind of pushes the moisture onto the east, and uh, Wednesday looks totally dry. And again, we'll lean in that direction, and Thursday of next week looks relatively dry as well. Let's go out there at the end of the forecast. Oh, yeah. Come on now. Fall weather fans, that's for you. Severe weather fans, that's for you too. Negative tilt trough phasing up. That could be a severe weather setup and then a, a shot of really cool air coming down in here. And that could indeed get us down in the 40s if this is right. But let's all say it together. This is what? Voodoo. Yeah, this could be gone on the next run. You know, very little consistency out here. But interesting to see that. And, you know, it's getting... Into that time of the year where things like that can happen. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog, the next video by 3.30 or so today. And, of course, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 News at 5, 6, and 10. Again, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day, and God bless.